Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome now to a brand new vlog right here on Free Park Insanity. here at Scare Kingdom near Blackburn and this fantastic attraction is celebrating 15 years this year. So what they've done is they've basically gone back to their fans and invited them to vote for their favourite mazes and in doing so they've been able to redesign them for a whole brand new experience. So we've literally arrived for about half an hour late sadly due to really bad traffic over near Skipton but we are here, we're going to get checked in and we're going to go straight through. Now unfortunately I can't show you inside the mazes, there are a few areas in between where we might be able to grab a few shots depending on obviously kind of what we can and can't do. And then at the end of it, we will do basically what we did yesterday, where we give you a full kind of breakdown of the experience, our thoughts on it, all the changes of this year, and so much more. It's going to be very, very exciting indeed. We can't wait to get in and actually get our experience started here at Scare Kingdom in Blackburn. Okay, so we're here with a fan of the channel. Do you want to tell the viewers a little bit about yourself? Um, I'm Sam, and yep. I'm 11. You're 11? Wow, so you're very brave coming here tonight. And who are you with? Um, I'm with me, Uncle and my cousins. With who, sorry? My uncle and my cousin. Your uncle and your cousin? Yeah. You all prepped and ready to go? Yeah. Lovely. Fantastic. And you excited? Yeah. Any idea of kind of what to expect or? It's crazy. No, it's going to be mad. Well, lovely to meet you both. I hope you have a fantastic time and we might see you later on. So, uh, have fun guys. you know it's like coming last year obviously you guys know that I came last year for the first time and I experienced this for the first time myself now the setup this year is very very different indeed because ordinarily last year you kind of went sort of outside and down an outside path and then obviously you kind of went into the mazes this time you're actually coming indoors and coming through this way now I'm also here with Matt who's experienced it for the first time how are we doing? Hi. looking forward to this yeah Good yeah definitely yeah. yeah the the music and everything it's setting the uh, ambience before you even get in there yeah the music's picking it up yeah it, it really, really is. is but yeah that should be good any sort of expectations or no but from the people that we've spoken to we're in for one hell of an evening absolutely yeah we've literally we just bumped into Dan and Paris from um Ginger and Brown, so a massive shout out to those guys. And also, you saw that we talked to a couple of fans of the channel. Lovely to meet you both as well. I really hope you had a fantastic evening. So, without further ado, let's get inside and see what Scare Kingdom in its 15th year has to offer. Right, okay, so we've got through, we've had our hands stamped, and we are making our way now to what I assume will be the first maze. Now, as I said last year, we came a very different route and we kind of went down sort of the side of that building over there but this time around we're going through this very very look awesome looking sort of tunnel of pumpkins with what looks to be an actor as well so uh, we're probably about to get harangued but uh, here we go oh hi here for the fun it's a camera box it's got three little black things on it it has you've not seen one before no it's all right i quite like it it's quite special. <laughs> Thank you. Matt's getting harangued as well. Fresh friends we are. What am I do? And my babies. But people, you see, people keep stirring them down here, they do. You've got a lot of them. <laughs> you certainly look like you have been. <laughs> This is awesome, it really is. Them, you see. Well, hopefully they, they stop and listen to you in the end, because yeah, they sh should, should be leaving them alone, so. I hope so. <laughs> hey. This is well, right. you like to go and get yourself checked into that hospital, eh? All right, sounds good to me. they'll sort you right out. All right, see you soon. See ya. <laughs> right, and we're making our way down now to the first maze. Let's go do this. Okay, so this is better, so we're been held here. It looks like they've kind of fought more about throughput this year, which is good to see, so obviously Hello. we're... Hello. Hello. Oh, are we? Are 
we're one of the vloggers. We are one of the vloggers, we are yeah. One of the vlog Welcome. Thank so we you. Actually need, we need some good press for the hospital in the morning. Ah, fantastic. Let me just get myself some good lighting. There yes. you go. Should we get you lit? Well, there we, we are. Impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. There you go. See, I know what's going on here. I know how to do this. Fantastic. So, High Hopes Hospital, despite what you might have heard on the news, is actually a state of the art facility, and you guys are going to have the most amazing experience. And, oh, are you here for a tour or are you here for the surgery? Because I think I'm, I'm, I'm here for surgery. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The cosmetic surgery actually is tomorrow and I don't know if we're going to be able to help in your case. I don't think there's much you can do about that in I'm all always, fairness. I'm always early. Yeah, this is, I'm always early. This is a lot worse than we expected it to be when you called. I know, so you should see me in the daylight. We, I know. we might need more than one appointment. For you, it's it's yeah. very frightening. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can imagine. I, do you mind if I just have a quick look at... Oh, oh, oh no, 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 we won't subject you to that. No, no. Like over here where, where it should be. <laughs> oh, Keep God. the light on perfection. Yeah, exactly. This is what I like to hear. I yes. like you guys. <laughs> so while we're going through today, yep. this facility, very importantly, is actually the hospital in the UK with the shortest wait time. Wow, so it's you not it's not NHS then. This oh, is not no, under, it is NHS. Oh, it is oh, NHS. Is it actually it is, isn't it? Wow. NHS. Oh, we wow. are registered. But this is this is nothing yeah. to do with Rishi Sunak. Perfect. This is ideally <laughs> this is the best hospital you will ever go to. Fantastic. So we'll take your word for it. Right. Recording inside of the. We hospital. understand that. Yeah, we're well aware. So, don't worry. You're more than welcome to take pictures outside of, and of Fantastic. course with me. Lovely. We'll do that in a second. Yeah, yeah, of course. There we are. Get your so, good side. Oh, this side is my good side. Actually. <laughs> um, so when we're going through today, yep. I just want you to keep in mind that this is still in a testing facility. We aren't accepting patients until tomorrow, so you. Okay. We, you are a rush case, and we will do the best we can to fix thank this Thank you, issue. thank you. I really do need the help. Uh -huh. There so we go. We are going to walk through in a second. Right. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so we finished our run through of Scare Kingdom. We've done all five Scare Houses, and of course, we will share full thoughts, reviews, and more in a very, very short moment. But before we do, we thought we'd just give you a quick look at what you have in terms of food and drink options here at Scare Kingdom. Now, you've got a coffee shop that serves, obviously, ice cream, coffees, other snacks, and beers over there, too, as well as ice cream tubs. And I believe there's also kind of like a bit of a sort of like food menu offering um, on offer as well. There is also indoor seating for you if you do want to come and sit and obviously take five after having the hell scared out of you. But let's take a walk outside. <laughs> take a walk outside and show you what we've got out here. So you've kind of got a lovely seating area over there, quite lengthy, sort of obviously there's quite a lot of seats there available. So we're going to go sit there in a second and sort of share our full thoughts. As well as that, there is outdoor seating, and last year they had a escape room style experience. Now that unfortunately does seem to have vacated this year, but it hasn't really taken away from the experience because there is still so much more here on offer at Scare Kingdom. But in terms of food options, you've got a few different things available here. Oh, so you've, they do, don't they? So you've also got a bar here, obviously serving alcoholic drinks and more. You've then got a lovely little sort of food out here. Let's see what we've got. We've got dirty fries, chicken nacho, chos, chicken ranch, burgers. 
but I'll tell you, that food looks absolutely stunning. Looks really, really good. Price is not too bad either. Six ninety five, seven ninety five, all around there. So fairly reasonable, really, especially for portions of that size. And you've also got pizza as well here. So you've got various different ones available: margarita, pepperoni, or eight fifty, nine fifty. Again, prices are very reasonable. No issues there whatsoever. And also, if you obviously come during the day, we'll get breakfast baps. But unfortunately, those aren't available today because it is, of course, the back end of the night. But yeah, a small selection of food offerings here available at Scare Kingdom. Let's grab some food. Let's sit down. Let's talk about what we've seen here tonight. Right, so we just ordered a pizza and this was £9.50 and it is literally a full pizza and it looks really nice and I'll tell you something, it smells just as good as it looks as well. Now I've gone for ham and mushroom, Matt's gone for spicy beef and that looks really, really good. We've also had a lovely coffee too. The food here, very well priced, very reasonable and very high quality as well. So I'd highly recommend checking out if you do come, of course this is quite sizable so if you want like a bit, then obviously you can probably share this between a few of you. But I'm going to eat all of this and then I'll share my thoughts on tonight's run through. Okay, so we finished our run through here at Scare Kingdom and that was absolutely fantastic. We've sat down, we've had some pizza and some food, which was very, very nice by the way. So if you haven't obviously tried it for yourself, definitely do so when you come. Of course, there's so many different options, but we're not here to talk about food. We're here to talk about what we've actually experienced tonight. Now, from the get-go, things are very, very different. They've really improved this year. And obviously what they've done is they've created a whole brand new indoor queue area for you to kind of sort of queue through. So that means obviously when it's raining, it's gonna be a lot more comfortable for you to queue inside. Of course, that's not the sort of kind of consistent thing through all of the mazes. You are still gonna be stood outside for some of that, and that's perfectly natural. And of course, with it being farmland, yes, it's gonna be a bit muddy, but that's not taken away from the experience itself. Now, we started off, there are five mazes here this year. There is a clinical hospital style maze, there is Mana Mortis, which was personal favorite last year. Again, this year, that literally takes out title. I mean, it's a whole different level, and we'll come on to that. There was also Gothica, which is returning again this year. There was Body Snatchers, again, returning from last year, but each of these have kind of had a bit of a makeover, over and a bit of a change. You finish off with Zozo's Grindhouse, again, a clown maze. Clowns with Chainsaws is a bit old hat by now, but of course, it's still good fun, obviously, for those people that might not be used to it. So let's kind of go through these a little bit, kind of sort of, um, sort of in kind of a short kind of sort of way, and obviously give you a bit of a, a rough idea as to what you can kind of expect from this. You make your way into the first. Again, this is a clinical hospital style um, sort of maze, and of course, you know, you sort of go through, there was so much detail and time has gone into the actual maze creation. And the set design is just next level. It really is. It's, it's something else. No words for it. I think impressive doesn't even come close. And you make your way through. The acting quality was absolutely brilliant. You're kind of going through, and the idea is obviously there is this virus on the loose, and trying to sort of escape from the hospital. Acting quality, amazing. Very tight spaces. If you have claustrophobia, this will not be for you. And if you do, sorry, don't rather than obviously come try out for yourself. A great way to start the maze, and obviously sort of the experience as a whole. Um, in terms of obviously the over the five, it's not the best of the night, but again, you know, a good solid start nonetheless. You then move on to Mana Mortis, and between each of the mazes now there appears to be what seems to be Roman actors, which is a great addition for this year. It felt a bit kind of dead in terms of the space between last time, and obviously when you walk in between it's very quiet, there's nothing going on. This year, that's completely different. There are actors kind of in between the mazes, playing different parts, and obviously sort of giving it that kind of fresh feel. You make your way through to Mana Mortis, and the idea is you are a paranormal investigator that has come to kind of investigate the house and obviously find out sort of what's going on with all this paranormal activity within the manor. To set in there, wow, just genuinely, and I mean that, wow, absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the detail and just the amount of sort of time they've really taken to create those sets. I mean, it was my personal favourite last year. It's definitely this year, and I'm talking so far this Halloween. I'm not just talking here. You have to see for yourself, genuinely, and it's a real gothic horror style feel. It's amazing. So, for that reason alone, Manamort is by far my personal highlight of the night. But you make your way through, it's a decent length maze. You're trying to escape this mansion. Lots of characters and lots of actors in there. Very strong acting once again. Great to see that, and obviously, great to see them sort of like introducing so many people into that maze. There's a few kind of bits where it's sort of quite claustrophobic again, but of course you make your way through it, and yeah, a real standout maze for this year. 
You then make your way through again with a couple of roaming actors between that and Gothica, and Gothica is your next maze of the three, sorry, of the five rather. You make your way into Gothica and the idea is that obviously this church is haunted, you try and make your way through and get out, obviously, without kind of getting attacked by these demons. It's a very short maze, very, very short. I said this last year and I'll say it again this year, that needs to be longer. It's got a real 13 kind of feel from all the towers and the wraiths and the vibes and it's fantastic. It really is. The set design, again, consistently high throughout. Acting quality, absolutely fantastic. And I mean, they're really nailing the parts that they're playing, genuinely. But again, it was over far too fast. So for that reason, probably one of the weak ones in my personal opinion. You then make your way through and into the next one, which again is kind of sort of, you're greeted by Roman actors again outside. And this seems to be a very, very kind of consistent thing between the mazes. There's always kind of like a, an actor that's relevant to the next maze you're gonna go into. So you're greeted by this daughter and kind of this undertaker. And the next one is themed around body snatchers. Set in London, again, Gothic horror. And the sets in there again are absolutely fantastic. There's so much detail in each of these. You know, it's it's hard to kind of sum it into words other than sort of saying impressive. And yeah, I genuinely know words, but you have to see for yourself. You go through a decent length once again, acting quality again, absolutely on point. And yeah, a good solid addition for this year and great to see them bring it back. You finally kind of finish off with Zozo's Grindhouse, which is a sort of clowns and circus style thing. Um, and obviously clowns with chainsaws, all that sort of stuff. I mean, obviously you kind of, you know what to expect from that. And it's very kind of on par with the likes of um, Toxic Junkyard and that sort of kind of feel. And obviously uh, Carnival of the old one from Old Towers. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, a great new addition um, in terms of the way they've kind of rethemed that and obviously done bits in there. Each one of them's had a bit of a kind of a refresh, they've changed things in there. They're not the same as they were obviously in previous years. And it's a good fun, kind of light-hearted, sinister maze to finish your night. You get chased out with a guy with a chainsaw, which again, very similar to the way that you kind of do with Yorkshire Skygrounds, and the whole experience itself flows in the exact same way. You experience one after the next, after the next. In terms of my personal favourite, again, Man Mortis, without a shadow of a doubt, has to be the top one there. The weakest one, Zozo's Grindhouse. Yeah, it it just feels, it's, it's been overdone now, really. They kind of need to rethink that and maybe change it for next year. But again, it's still like heart and fun. So, absolutely fantastic. Overall tonight, a real step up from the Yorkshire Scaregrounds yesterday in terms of obviously acting quality and set design and everything else. As I said, I keep saying it, but I'll repeat that. Obviously, it's a bit of a step from, up from there. The roaming actors at Yorkshire Scaregrounds were far more fun and obviously a lot more kind of interactive with you. But yeah, in terms of the actual acting quality and in terms of the way the sets and everything and the mazes themselves look, this definitely has that factor. But yeah, overall, really, really enjoyed it. I want to give a massive thank you to Emily for inviting us down today and also, also the team here at Scare Kingdom. You know, I really appreciate it. It's wonderful to have this opportunity and I'm very, very thankful to you all for the invitation here tonight. But let's turn the camera around and let's get Matt's thoughts on tonight's experience. Okay, so Matt, your first ever experience of Scare Kingdom here near Blackburn. What do you have to say? Wow. Absolutely fantastic. The the design of the sets, the actors, the whole ambience of the area, totally a step up from yesterday. I, it's just mind blowing, it really is. Yeah. And in terms of sort of favourites, I mean, is it, what, what particularly stands out about tonight's experience for you? What, what moments kind of stand out the most? Oh, Manamortis. 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 I knew it's, you'd love that. It's the curse of Alton Manor, as it should be, on yeah. steroids. Such intricate designs, real gothic horror. Everywhere you look, everything has got its own place where it should be. There were so many opportunities where I wanted to get my camera out and just start snapping away. Yeah, it's got neat set pictures in there, really, isn't it? I know, totally, <laughs> totally gutted. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Manor Mortis was my all-time favourite. Absolutely. In terms of sort of weakest one, what would you say? The clown one was the weakest. Face it, everybody's done a clown maze now. Yeah, they with have. or without chainsaws. But it's old hat. It's old hat. But the ringmaster, a bit of a pre-show type thing. Don't want to give too much away. Absolutely spot on. Is a great guy. Is a crowd pleaser. He knew what he was doing. He drew the crowd in. Yeah. And the person who was batching us in, just as good. Yeah, she was cracking as she well. She was brilliant. She? she really was. So, I mean, obviously, how does this kind of compare to the likes of sort of Yorkshire Scareground and other kind of scare attractions you've experienced? It's a step up with the set designs. And the actors inside the mazes were a lot more engaging. We get that it's like a soft opening. 
Yeah. But some of the actors in there were actually ramped up like it was a full fledged working night for the public. They were. And it's, it's just been absolutely fantastic. It really has. It's been a great evening in general, really, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it really we've has. literally just before we filmed this, we've had the chance to meet a lovely guy called uh, Ethan. He's the ops manager here. So, a massive shout out to you, Ethan. It was great chatting to you. He really was. He was such a nice guy. And I'm planning on coming back here with Kelly to come and let her experience this because she needs to see it. She, she really she does. She really needs to see it. Man yeah. of Mortis, she'll be in love with it. She really will. Yeah. And she loves Gothic Horror just like I do. Yeah. So, a great night overall in that case. And any other kind of sort of thoughts to share or anything that you would sort of. Uh, like to mention? No. No. I'm going to let the public make their mind up on this. You really need to get down here and see this for yourself. Absolutely, and I couldn't agree more with you. Fantastic. So there you have it. That concludes our night here at Scare Kingdom over at Mrs. Dowson's Ice Cream Farm near Blackburn. And, yeah, an absolutely fantastic night. I genuinely have nothing negative to say about tonight's experience whatsoever. They've really nailed it. And given the fact it is a soft opening as well, I genuinely could not be more impressed with what I've experienced tonight. It's been a real standout night out so far for us. By far the best night Halloween-wise we've had so far this year. And yes, I love Yorkshire Scare Ground, but Scare Kingdom has just got something else about it. It's so magical. It's so different to kind of any other standalone scare attractions that I've experienced. And if you haven't planned to come here yet this year, I can't recommend doing so enough. I really, really can't. But I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I would love to know your thoughts on obviously Sky Kingdom below. Have you visited or if you haven't, you plan to do so? Do let me know below, guys. And for now, if you have enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button, turning on those notifications, and again, if you have, smash the like button and let me know. It's always really appreciated. But for now, I'm Joe. This is Theme Park Insanity, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.